Well, as we mentioned earlier, Russia and Belarus have begun two weeks of Air Force military drills. And the two countries have held joint exercises in the past year as Russia began its offensive in Ukraine. Well, this time, the Belarusian Defense Ministry says the tactical flight exercises are defensive in nature. Now, there are concerns that Moscow may be pushing Minsk to join the war in Ukraine. There's been alarm about a build-up of Russian troops in Belarus and military activity in the country in recent weeks. Moscow had used its neighbor as a springboard to launch attacks on Ukraine almost a year ago. Ali Hashim is live for us again in Moscow. So, Ali, uh, again, once again, what are Russian officials saying about why they're conducting these joint Air Force drills with Belarus? What's the goal? Well, Sammy, what's being said here in Moscow is that these drills are for operational compatibility. So um, just a, a few weeks after President Putin's visit to uh, Belarus, to Minsk, uh, by the end, uh, in the end of uh, uh, December, and now we see that the, the uh, Russian uh, aerospace uh, force going to uh, Belarus and conducting these drills there. Now, with respect to the details of these drills, they're going to be more technical, as you mentioned, more on uh, supplies, patrols. Uh, however, there are many fears that or concerns that these are just uh, it's just the beginning before the uh, uh, the, the, the conducting of the uh, training of the uh, Belarus pilots, uh, which was agreed on in the uh, in President uh, Putin's uh, visit. During pre President Putin's visit to Belarus last month, it was agreed that Russia will start training the uh, Belarus pilots on using uh, the uh, Sukhoi planes for uh, and uh, that will be uh, carrying uh, unconventional weapons. So this is the issue that maybe some people are concerned over. There's another issue th that's also being taken into consideration that these uh, uh, drills are also shifting the attention uh, inside Ukraine from the borders with Russia to the borders with Belarus. And this will cause that uh, uh, the, the Ukrainian uh, uh, authorities or the Ukrainian government will also move uh, forces towards the, the north, uh, just to take into consideration that there, there might be any kind of shift on the, on the front. So this is, in general, what's being said with respect to the, uh, to the drills. However, uh, this is expected to continue. And this is not the first drill that goes between the uh, Russians and the Belarus uh, government or the Belarus army. This is continuing, but this is the first time since two years that uh, the uh, Belarus uh, uh, Air, uh, Air, Air Force and the Russian Air Force are conducting uh, uh, kind of joint drills together. And it, it's really significant that it, it's taking place at the time of the war uh, in Ukraine. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Ali Hashim. Let's continue this, though, with Natasha Butler. She joins us now live from Kiev. So no doubt a different perspective there in Kiev. Are they worried that these joint exercises are preparations for another operation from the north? Well, look, any activity on the Belarusian border is, of course, going to be uh, of concern to uh, authorities in Kyiv. They've been watching now over the past uh, few weeks this uh, build-up of Russian forces and Belarusian forces on that border. More military hardware coming in, the two sides carrying out a number of military exercises. The latest, these air exercises that are supposed to uh, last for two weeks. So, of course, that is a uh, and even though the defence minister in Belarus says these are just defensive uh, exercises, that's uh, enough to worry officials in Ukraine because, of course, they know that it was from uh, territory in Belarus that Russia launched its offensive in February uh, last year. Even though Belarus and its forces weren't directly involved, they know that they have to be careful and take uh, every precaution necessary. It's why the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, just last week said that uh, Ukrainian forces along that border must be bolstered. We know that they've already been building fortifications for some time now to be ready and prepared all along that border. There are, though, some intelligence uh, experts. We 
the Pentagon, for example, last week, who have said that they don't necessarily expect uh, any new offensive uh, from uh, the northern border of Ukraine over the Belarusian border uh, any time soon. Uh, however, what they do say is this could be a tactic by the Russians to try and distract Ukraine and try and lure some Ukrainian forces away from fighting in the east up to the north. All right. And that's Natasha Butler for us from Kiev.